Christmas morn with all the gifts and toys we knew we'd find but we never realize a baby born one blessed night gave us this greatest Ika-24 ng Disyembre sa ating mga kabahayan ngayon, Reza. At sigurado, nako, bising-bisi ang lahat. In fact, baka habang nanonood sila ng ating uh, show na ito, ay yung iba ay what, whatever, no? nagluluto siguro, nagahanda, okay? Mm -hmm. Pang Noche Buena sa buong pamilya. Kaya at maligayang kapaskuan po sa bawat isa. Talagang saktong-sakto nga po talaga itong araw nito, Bishop. And it's actually a good reminder for all of us as well that amidst all the business of this holiday season, no? so andyan na nga yung paghahanda ng Noche Buena, maya-maya lamang. Andyan na yung mga pagbabalot ng regalo, pagbibisita natin sa ating mm, mga mahal sa buhay, yeah, and even tama. celebrating with our friends and colleagues. Right. Let us not forget the real reason for this season. It's not just the material goodness and blessings that we celebrate and enjoy, but we also remember that without Out the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, tayong lahat po ay walang pag-asa. I always say this, Reza, in fact, no, that if the cross of Christ mm -hmm. at Calvary does not overshadow the manger sa Bethlehem, then Christmas would have no meaning at all. Right. Kaya, pag halimbawa may binabati ako, ang sinasabi ko hindi lang maligayang Pasko mm -hmm. o Merry Christmas, ang sinasabi ko ay maligayang pagdiriwang ng kapanganakan ng ating Panginoon. 
Okay? So, mas maganda yun dahil it brings to us, it brings us directly doon mm-hmm. sa time na yun. Right, Uh-oh. and it's a good reminder as well. No? Alam niyo po, Bishop, ngayon, uh, we have prepared a musical Christmas special for our viewers. At napalawin nga natin kanina ang si Mr. Ahmed Letrondo who sang It's About the Cross and mm. even our very own Lighthouse Chamber Orchestra um, that also rendered the song We Are the Reason. So, siguro isang magandang tanong, Bishop, ano, since pinag-uusapan natin ang Kapaskohang Pinoy, sa palagay niyo po ba, nagbago ang celebration ng Pasko ngayon versus nung unang panahon. In fact, uh, pabago ng pabago, Reza. Okay. Ibig sabihin, pawala ng pawala ang Kristo sa Pasko. Mm. Alam mo, marami... Uh, well, anyway, I'll, I'll say this. Mamaya sasabihin ko rin sa aking mensahe ito, no? Na, na, iba-iba din ang kaisipan kasi sa Kapaskuhan. Mm-hmm. Even Christians, for one, ang sabi ng isang parte, ito raw ikaw ay celebration ng isang pagan holiday. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, kapag naririnig ko yun, ang sasabihin ko eh, well, fine, kasi nag-swak ika noon sa celebration nila, nung kung anong tawag na celebration na yan. But, right. the thing is this, eh, what pagan will celebrate the coming of Birth the Lord of Jesus Christ? Christ right. You see? Mm-hmm. And then, syempre, sa mga uh, ibang party naman, ng mga Christians, they celebrate it naman, the one thing na in question here is, did the Lord Jesus Christ actually come? No? Was He delivered by Mary no? mm-hmm. on December 25? There is no record. And I, also, I will also be saying this mamaya. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, ginagamit ito ng maraming tao. In fact, eh, for example, Japan. Mm-hmm. No? And all other countries na hindi naman naniniwala sa pananampalatayang kristyano. You know what? They also celebrate Christmas. Pero ang Christmas nila is just, well, a holiday. Yes. No? And uh, it's actually a working day, ordinary day. And, uh, but then they also decorate yung mga pisina nila mm-hmm. with all the decorations and everything. But it's empty, in fact, of any message about Christ. Mm-hmm. It's all about the Christmas tree. It's all about... So, yun. E para sa mga Pilipino, mm-hmm. lalo yung mga nagtatrabaho, Minsan, it's all about bonus, it's all about being able to give, and uh, kainan, no, hilarity, mm-hmm. and uh, yung ibang iba, they go into a, what do you call that, an emotional ride. No, sentimental ride, na aawit na lang yung Pasko, Pasko na, na. Tako, <laughs> no? And uh, syempre, well, of course, naunawaan sa mga kababayan natin, naunawaan mm-hmm. natin. Many of our kababayans have their loved ones, no, distant sa kanila. Right. So, mm-hmm. ito yung mga ano, but... Listen, I, I believe, you know, the changes that come, you know, ay mensahe sa atin na dapat ibalik natin mismo ang Kristo. Kaya nga Christmas, mm-hmm. it's Christ. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, uh, minsan nga, alam mo, anak, ang nakalagay pa, Xmas. Xmas. Para bang ginawa variable. Ano, oh, it's a variable thing mm-hmm. na you need to look for it. Find X. Oh, that speaks a lot. Mm-hmm. And you... The Lord Jesus Christ is not an X. Well, sabi ng iba, kasi nga X a cross. For whatever it is, syempre, it's a variable. Anybody, anybody who knows math, okay? Mm-hmm. It's a sabi, oh, variable yan, you have to find X. See, you have to find Christ in Christmas. Yes. Actually, very good point yan, Bishop. Ano? Kasi napansin ko rin ngayon, no, even yung mga advertisements, uh, kasi syempre, marketing yes. yan, di ba? Ang ganda right, ng business right, ng mga right. mall kapag Christmas. It's more centered on the family, no? Yung pagsasama ng pamilya, pagsasalo-salo. Kaya nga talaga nagiging sentimental na lang ang Kapaskuhan, yeah. ano? And it's true, no? That, you know, practically yung Christ sa Christmas, ay they took, took it out and I don't para think... Bang, uh, alam mo, para sa atin, we, mm-hmm. we are a Christian family, of course. But uh, <coughs> one of the things that make us strong as a family is the relationship with Christ. And may I say sa ating mga viewers, you're, you're watching a show, a television show that's uh, uh, produced by a ministry. At ang isa sa dahilan na ginagawa natin ito is to tell everyone na alam niyo po, they are not the material things that make the families strong. Right. Minsan, umaasa tayo sa mga material na bagay, sa mga material gifts. But you know what? They come. I mean, they... They come and go. Mm-hmm. No? Kahit gaano kapresyo sa mga regalo, nawawala ang kinang, nawawala ang luster, nagsay-say, you know. But then, we should look 
we should look at things that go beyond, you know, things that that uh, become that fade. Temporal. That, oh, oh, temporal, which is more of eternal thing. Right. Okay. Oh, so oh. I think maganda rin po na ano no Sunday ang celebration ng Pasko ngayon yes, taon na to. Yes, bukas. Mm -hmm. Oo, oh, bukas. Puno na naman ng mga simbahan. Pero sana nga ay hindi lang this Christmas Sunday uh, makaten ng church ng buong pamilya. Ang no? problema But niyan, the next Naku, Sundays, nasobrahan sa kain mamaya. Baka hindi Tapos, na magising. Hindi <laughs> na makapag punta no at din uh, makasilip at makapakinig naman ng mensahe tungkol sa Kapaskuhan. But that's important. Mm -hmm. so, So, abangan niyo po yung special Christmas message uh, ni Bishop Ruben Mamaya. At mantili po kayo nakatutok sa ating special Christmas episode ngayon. And we hope that your hearts will be blessed with what we have prepared for you today. So, hindi po naman kami gustong maging parang, ano, parang corny rito. But listen, it's best that there is someone even on television that reminds everyone ng significance ng celebration na ito. Ako po si Reza Abante Yebra. At ako naman. Si Bishop Robin Abante. Join us and let's have good talk over good coffee. Welcome to Lighthouse, Lighthouse Cafe. Cafe.
It's not just about the manger where the baby lay. It's not just about the angels who sang for him that day. It's not just about the shepherds or the bright and shining star. It's not just about the wise men who traveled from afar. It's about the cross. It's about my sin. It's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about the stone that was rolled away so that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross. It's not just about the good things in this life I've done. It's not just about the treasures or the trophies that I've won. It's not all about the righteousness that I found within. It's all about His precious blood that saved me from my sin. It's about the cross. It's about my sin. It's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about the stone that was rolled away so that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross. The beginning of the story is wonderful and great. But it's the ending that can save you, and that's why we celebrate. It's about the cross. It's about my sin. It's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about God's love. Nailed to a tree It's about every drop of blood that flowed from him When it should have been me It's about the storm that was rolled away So that you and I could have real life someday So that you and I could have real life someday. So that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross. It's about the cross. Well, we come to this segment here in our episode today na pag-uusapan natin ang significance ng Kapaskuhan. Alam niyo po, sa totoo lang, marami ang mga agam-agam, ano po, marami ang mga ibang tao rin naman, kahit mga Kristiyano, na iba din ang kanilang kaisipan tungkol sa Christmas. In fact, Many Christians ay magke-question bakit pinagdiriwang daw ika ang Christmas samantalang it's a pagan holiday. And uh, well, gayon din naman, yung mga iba naman, they celebrate Christmas because ika nga that the Lord Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. And uh, they think like indeed the Lord Jesus Christ was born on December 25. Well, alam niyo po, wala po sa kahit na anong dokumento 
no, in history, that the Lord Jesus Christ was born on December 25. There is no such record, okay? But one thing that is sure, he was born. Ano po? And uh, God through Mary, ano po, ay ibinigay sa atin ang ating Panginoong Jesus. And so, ginagamit din po natin, tayo mga biblical Christians, we use this occasion na hindi pulaan ang pagdiriwang but that gamitin natin ang pagkakataon para ang mensahe ng pagparito ng ating Panginoon ay maging refreshing po sa maraming tao. Regardless kung halimbawa may nagsasabi na it's a pagan holiday sapagkat wala naman pong pagano na magse-celebrate ng kapanganakan ng ating Kristo Jesus because basically they would not believe. Ano? So, ibig sabihin mga kapatid, I rather than going against any such celebration concerning the birth of Christ, then we should then even I susugan ito na sabihin natin indeed the Lord Jesus Christ was born and uh, look at the pages of the scriptures kung paano ito idinadaku sa atin. Ang simulain po ng mga Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, ay punong-puno ng mga narrative ano po, tungkol sa kapanganakan ng ating Panginoon. But on this part ng ating Lighthouse Cafe, ay hindi na po natin pag-uusapan yun sapagkat marami na nakakaalam ng kwento ng kapaskuhan. Like saying, there were shepherds out in the field watching their flocks over by night and lo, you know, nagliwanag ang lahat and the angel of the Lord spoke to them and then uh, there was joy in heaven and all the angels sang saying, glory to God, peace on earth. No? But that's, that's one. But the second is this. Marami din po ang sinasabi sa banal na kasulatan tungkol sa significance ng pagparito ng ating Panginoon. Now, one thing I would like to share with you is this. That the Lord Jesus Christ, when He was born, He did not remain a baby. No. And we do not celebrate Christmas simply because He became a baby and that's what He became to be. Well, the Lord Jesus Christ grew as a young man. And then He began to minister. And then there was a time in his life that he, after his ministry sa uh, pag-ikot, pagpapagaling, pagpapahayag, then uh, he went to the cross and he gave himself and then he died. But then he rose again. In fact, one author says, sabi niya ganyan, except the cross, no, overshadows that manger, no, that cradle, in Bethlehem, then Christmas would have no meaning at all. Ibig sabihin po ay, we do not just look back to the time when Jesus Christ was born. We also look back to the time when He gave Himself on the cross for us. And precisely, yun po ang pinag-uusapan natin na significant ang pinaka-purpose ng Kanyang pagparito. Now, may I refer you to some passages in the Word of God. At kung paano ito nagmula? Well, doon po sa John chapter 1, ay sinisimulan na ni John ang kanyang pagsulat na ang sinasabi, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Well, kung titinan po ninyo ang King James Bible, ay yung word na salita ay it's in a capital W. Ibig sabihin, it is indeed referring to none other than the Word Himself, the living Word who is the Lord Jesus Christ. And then in verse 2, it says, the same or the Word was in the beginning with God. It's not only that the Word was in the beginning, it's not just that the Word was with God, but the Word was God. Okay? And then Asabi, the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by this word, by the word, and without him was not anything made that was made. And in him, in this word, was life, and this life was the light of men. Now, John presents the Lord Jesus Christ as the very word, the living word that started with from the beginning, and who was with God, and who was, and indeed is God. 
And then, napaka-significant po ng verse 14 of the same chapter. So, pagkatang sinasabi dyan, And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Ang verbo. Siya nasa, nasa simulain pa. Siya na kasama ang Diyos. Siya ay na Diyos. Na siya, siya na lumikha. Ang sabi dito, And the Word was made flesh. And precisely, this refers to the time when the Lord Jesus Christ was born. And He was made flesh. He took upon Himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. Sabihin, God became man. This program, ano po, na sa inyo'y dinadala ng Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church, teaches that indeed the Lord Jesus Christ is both God and man. Okay? Nangangailangan po tayo ng tagapagligtas Ano po? Na tagapagligtas na sa atin ay magdadala sa Diyos. And none other can do that but God Himself. Ano po? At nangangailangan tayo ng tagapagligtas na maaaring pagbayaran ng ating mga pagkakasala sapagkat kung tayo ang ating ang magbabayad ng ating kasalanan, wala po tayong mal- kaligtasan. Hindi tayo maliligtas sa kapahamakan. But the Lord Jesus Christ took our sin penalty. Paid and he died but then he rose again because his life now sa lahat po ng bagay na ito ay kinakailangan natin makita na ito pala ang pinaka purpose why the lord jesus christ came many in today's world will just celebrate the birth of a baby but uh, that's all about sa uh, pagdiriwang ng kapaskuhan minsan ano po we celebrate the birth of a child. Subalit, yung the same child that was born ay hindi po lumaki at hindi nabuhay. At no, we do not simply celebrate a baby that was born. We celebrate a Savior. You know, the, the angel came to Mary one day and he said, uh, uh, He shall be called Jesus for He shall save His people from their sin. But anyway, sa pinag-uusapan po natin, we, have, we are seeing here in the book of John, chapter 1, that indeed the Lord Jesus Christ, a Son of God, is God. And that He became flesh. Ang sabi ni John, He dwelt amongst us. Ang sabi niya, and we beheld this glory. Nasaksihan namin na nakita namin ang Kanyang luwalhati, ang luwalhati ng Diyos ang nasa Kanya. And indeed, sa pagkatsay Diyos, ano po? Subalit, so, uh, tinan po natin ang iba pang mga talata, ano po? Uh, for example, doon sa Romans 5.8, sinasabi ni Apostle Paul, But God commendeth His love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That the same child who was born, no, on that day, no, hindi ko man sabihin, that was a Christmas day. Ano po? But on the day he was born, there was rejoicing. Sabi sa banal ng kasulatan, the heavenly host, no? sabi nilang ganyan, umawit sila sa harap ng maram- maraming mga shepherds. Okay? And sabi nila, glory to God, peace on earth, no? good will to men. And uh, that was it, the glory of his birth spoke of the glory ng kanyang pagbibigay ng kanyang sarili para sa ating kaligtasan. Why? Because while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. In the book of Titus, sinabi ni Paul kay Titus, he says in Titus chapter 2 and verses 11 to 13, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. And when the time when the Lord Jesus Christ gave Himself on that cross and He offered Himself, alam niyo po ang nangyari, the grace of God appeared to all men. Ano po? The love that sent Jesus Christ and then the grace, no? Because of His giving of Himself. Kung para bang ang biyaya ng Panginoon ay na ihayag sa lahat. Narito na ang biyaya ng Panginoon. And in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, 
ang sinasabi ni Apostol Pablo ay ito, For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Now you see, Christmas then pala, or the birth of Christ, is all about the grace of God. It's not just simply the love of God. Oh, po ang Diyos ay Diyos ng pag-ibig. Subalit, sa pamamagitan niya ng kanyang pag-ibig, ay nagkaroon ng kaparaanan upang siya na Diyos ay abutin tayo. Hindi tayo lubos na maaabot sapagkat siya'y banal. Subalit, si Kristo'y naparito. At ang biyayang ito ay ibinigay sa atin na no matter how, what we are as sinners, as man, ano po, as men, ay inabot tayo ng ating Panginoong Jesus. However unworthy we are, so that we, so that He could bring us to God. And look at this. So, ang sabi ni Paul ay, So, for the grace of God that brings salvation, has appeared to all men, teaching us, teaching us. You know, such grace is teaching us. Such grace is giving us knowledge. You see, salvation is a knowledge. It's a knowledge that Jesus Christ, alam niyo po sabi ng Panginoon, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life and they are they which testify of me. You see, the Christian faith is not a faith that's according to fanaticism. It is a faith that is according to God's Word. And faith comes by the hearing of God's Word. Kung kaya nga nung sinabi ni Apostle Paul in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith. Sa pagpapahayag ng salita ng Diyos, as I say it, as I share it with you today, sa pagpapahayag ng katotohanan ito sa salita ng Diyos, ating nakikita kung sino si Jesus ang kanyang ginawa, ang kanyang ginawang sacrifice para sa atin. And because we hear this truth, we take it, and then we look at Him. Ang sasabihin natin, I cannot have any more Savior than Jesus Christ, and I cannot do anything but to take what He gives. And now, this is even being offered to everyone. At you out there, kayo pong nanonood sa television program na ito. The message is clear. Ang mensahe ng pagparito ng Panginoon, ang mensahe ng kanyang kapanganakan, ay mensahe ng kaligtasan na na kay Kristo Jesus. And so I invite you, come to Christ. Oh yes, we think sometimes, but Bishop, I'm not worthy. Nobody is worthy. But the Lord Jesus Christ has said, come to me. All you who are laboring, all you who labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, he says. And so, he's life. Christ is life, and he gives life more abundantly. Make this celebration of the Lord's birth significant in that wala na pong ibang mas significant sa isang tao kundi ang pinakamahalagang kaloob ay mapasa kanya. At yan ang kaloob ng kaligtasan kay Kristo Jesus. And by this salvation comes forgiveness of sins. It, so, it uh, also comes with it the privilege of being a child of God in that we are born into God's family. Kaya nga ang sabi, we are born again. Okay? And then, hindi lang po yun, we become recipients of His gift of eternal life. And heaven, and glory, no? and the life more abundant than any. Ano po? And the heavenly and spiritual riches that we have in Jesus Christ. So accept this gift. Take Jesus Christ to your heart. And you can pray this prayer. And you can say, Lord, I am a sinner. Kinikilala ko and I admit that I am a sinner before you. I cannot save myself. I cannot go to you based on the merit of my own works and my own goodness. I can only take what Jesus Christ has done. And so believe that Jesus died on the cross and was buried and He rose again for you. Believe that He did those things all for you. And then trust Him. Open your heart. At ang sabi po naman nalang kasulatan, once you receive Him, and sabi, to them gave you power to become the children of God. And not that only, but because you have Christ in your heart, ang sabi naman nalang kasulatan, He that hath the Son 
has life. That is the essence. That is the very core of the message of this program. And may this gift be in you today as you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. At masayang pagdiriwang ng kapanganakan ng ating Panginoong Jesus. celebration of the birth of Christ. Dahil nga special ang episode natin ngayon at namimiss na namin ang mga Tagalog Christmas carols, ay naisipan namin mag-upisa ng isang game sa ating segment. Ito ang Name That Tune Game! <laughs> Excited! Excited ang mga teams natin. Meron pa tayong dalawang teams. Ang Team Maligaya! At si Lean. Yan ang cheer nyo? <laughs> Yan na! Yan na! At syempre, meron din tayong Team Pasko. Yan, ito tayo. LJ at si Erica. <laughs> Simple lang naman po ang mechanics natin. Okay? Magpe-play lang ng Tagalog Christmas song ang ating musician. Ang unang mag-buzz in ang siyang makakasagot. Magkakaroon ng chance sumagot. Kapag correct ang title 
Siyempre, one point yun. And if you can sing correctly the first two lines of the song, that's an additional one point. Ano, ready na ba yung mga teams natin? Ready! Yes. Yan na ba yung energy nyo? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> okay, ready. Okay. Kamay sa baba. <laughs> Okay. Sa una or sa pangalaw. Wow! Ang hindi. Kamay sa baba. Okay? Our first song, Maestro. Ang Pasko ay sumama. Ang Pasko ay sumama. Correct! Sing the tune. Come on. One, two, ready, sing. Ang Pasko ay sumapit. Tayo nang magsiyawit. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two Two points. for Team Pasco. Second song. points. Two Go! I'm <laughs> 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 Ready? Go! Yeah. Oh, ang title talaga nun, Namamas Ko. Aba? Uh, okay. Oo, oh, di ba? Namamas Ko. Can you sing it? One, two, ready, <laughs> Sa may bahay ang aming bati, Merry Christmas na malwalhati. Pwede. <laughs> Four points. score natin, okay? May chance pa kayo, hapon lang kayo. Okay. Sorting yun naman, aral-aral. Okay. Our fourth song. Kamay sa baba. Lagi yung kinakalimutin kamay sa baba. Fourth song, ready? Go! Okay, okay. Pasko na naman. Pasko na naman is correct! Pasko na naman, o kay duli ng araw Paskong nagdaan, kabagong kailan lang Naitawid, naitawid, naitawid Wow, for all! Alam nyo, since may sila yung show natin, yung segment natin, last na to ha Tiebreaker, winner take all, okay? Kamay sa baba, winner take all, fifth song, ready, go! Sing that tune, come on. Pasko na sinta ko, hanap, hanap kita. Okay, okay, okay. Emotions. Alam niyo, ang sentence ng English mas ita. Favorite ko itong season. Sa Pilipinas tayo, may pinakamahabang celebration. Pagpatak pala ng September, talaga ang todo celebration na, di ba? Alam mo, totoo yan, Gabi. Naalala ko nga nung September 1, nasa coffee shop kasi ako nung time na yun. At narinig ko itong isang sikat na kanta ni Jose Marichan. Yan ba yung whenever I see boys and girls and girls and boys? Alam mo, sikat na kanta niya yan, pero hindi yan yung narinig ko. Narinig ko yung... My idea of a perfect Christmas is to spend it with you. Yon. Ano mo ba yung kantang yon? Pero yun na September one palang yon. Nagpapatugtog na ng Christmas carols sa radio stations. So it just shows na talagang sa Pilipinas at least four months sina celebrate ang Pasko. September, October, November, December at minsan. Oh oh, minsan extended pa hanggang January. Yes. Totoo yun. And ako ngayon na alalakoy yung bata pa. Wala talaga nagiibon pa ako dumatan sa tas pinipipit ko para magintambor yun tambor. 
tapos yun ang traveling kami sa iba't ibang bahay. Mm, so, doon pa rin nakapag-practice. <laughs> Golden yeah. Bagenta. Yeah. Oh, doon talaga na-enhance yung boss. <laughs> Totoo yan, alam niyo yung mga bata talaga yung excited tsaka masasaya every Christmas. Yung paghingi ng mga gift sa mga ninong, ninang, yung susuotin mo yung pinakamaganda mong damit bago ka manghingi, di ba? Kayo ba guys, paano nyo ba sineselebrate yung Christmas sa family nyo, sa clan nyo? Siyempre may salo-salo, ganyan. Tapos magigames kami, magpipinsan, yung kasama pa nga yung mga aunties tsaka uncles dun sa games. Tapos aantayin namin mag 12 o'clock bago kami magbigay ng gifts, magbuksan ng gifts. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, Daisy, parang yung parang tayo experience. Kasi ako lumaki ako sa province, guys. Mm-hmm. Doon, parang mas tahimik. Mas, mas intimate yung mga celebration mm-hmm. and uh, mamaya nga makakasama kay family ko. <coughs> yeah, that's uh, nice. Kompleto kami every midnight uh, for, for the Noche Buena. Mm-hmm. Simple yung salo-salo lang but uh, the moment is so special, so, mm-hmm. so memorable just you know, being together and mm-hmm. celebrating Christmas. Ang saya no kasi families really get together during Christmas. Naalala ko, when we were younger, kaming magkakapatid, we used to hang socks talaga sa may Christmas tree. And then every Christmas morn, excited kaming gumising kasi pag tingin namin sa mga socks namin, it's filled with yes. goods. At kung ano talaga yung wishes namin, yun yung laman nun. Kaya lang nahuli namin minsan yung tatay ko eh. Kasi <laughs> nakastock sa ibabaw ng fridge. Akala niya kasi hindi pa namin nakikita yun na sa ibabaw. Andun pala yung mga gifts na para sa amin. Pero alam mo, excited talaga ako, especially now that I'm a mother. Kasi nung bata pa ako, um, ako yung tagatanggap ng mga gifts, but now, ako na yung mas nagbibigay. At iba rin talaga yung ano, pakiramdam kapag ikaw naman yung nasa giving end at hindi na sa receiving end. Ayun. Ayun. Kayo, anong mga iba pang experiences ninyo? Well, mm-hmm. siguro yung yung uh, kwento ba kasi na stuck ako doon sa, sa socks eh. Oh. <laughs> Actually, na experience ka rin yun. Pero mm-hmm. yun naman, obvious naman eh. Parang tuli naman talaga eh, oh, na oh. sila yung naglalagay. Um, I think isang magandang tanongin natin sa ibang uh, members natin dito, Rona, is ano kayo nila look forward to right. every time at Christmas? Every time mm-hmm. it's Christmas uh, season. Siguro ako talaga, nililook forward ko yun talagang makakasama ko yung mga family. Lalo na yung mga relatives from, kunyari, yung mother side, yung father mm. side. Kasi yun yung time namin na mag-bond talaga, na kompleto. Yung iba, umuwi pa from from the, um, yung ibang bansa, mm. ganyan. So, dun talaga kami nakakapag-get together. And yung excited pa ako sa Christmas ngayon, kasi ito yung first Christmas na nagtatrabaho na ako. So, katulad nga nang sinabi natin, Rona, it's time for payback naman na, yun nga, ikaw naman yung magbibigay. Mm. Hindi lang yung tumatanggap, gano'n. So, yun, exciting Mm-hmm. Exciting talaga yung mga reunion niya, no? Pero alam nyo, mas exciting kasi sineselebrate nyo yung Christmas, hindi lang kasama ang family. Kasama rin yung church. Mm-hmm. Na alam mo na lahat kayo, alam nyo yung kung ano talaga yung true meaning ng Christmas. That's right. Mm-hmm. But dun sa, well, speaking of uh, family, mm-hmm. church, um, siguro uh, personally, nandun yung papasalamat ka dahil at the end of the year yes. ito na kasi yun eh, sa mga blessings na binibigay ng Panginoon oh, no. sa atin you're that kahit everyday naman tayo nagpapasalamat pero ito parang summary ng lahat mm-hmm. na alam mo lahat ng binigay niya sa'yo buong year mm-hmm. And of course, alam naman natin, ang greatest gift naman talaga na natanggap natin is Jesus Christ Himself na nagbigay sa atin ng buhay na walang hanggan. Di ba, Gabby? That's very true, um, Rona. Kasi especially for, for Christians, mm. um, myself, uh, personal um, experience, nagbago talaga yung pananaw ko sa Christmas mm-hmm. when I became a Christian. Um, it, it's one thing to, to know um, why Christ was born, why, why Christ came. Another thing to understand um, exactly why, why He came. And more, most importantly, most importantly, um, having that personal experience and truly accepting Christ as your uh, personal Lord and Savior, um, I can personally say um, w- when that happened to me, um, indeed, masasabi mo na for Christians, ang Pasko ay talagang araw-araw. Mm. Yes. At bago pa nga maiyak si Gabby <laughs> sa mga pinisas, sabi niya, ano bang meron tayo ngayon, Erica? So, para po sa ating mga manonood, ngayon naman pakinggan natin at sana po ay ma-bless po kayo sa isang na namang special number mula sa isang harpist na si Miss Joanne Sardenia.
Well, thank you for having joined us today in our talks sa Lighthouse Cafe. At sana ay uh, kayo'y pinagpala no, sa lahat po ng ating mga napag-usapan. And we hope also that you are enjoying every moment na ginagawa ninyo kasama mga kamag-anak, mga mahal sa buhay. Yung iba naman, distant. Pero oh, alam niyo, ang mundo naman ngayon, lumiliit na rin. Marami nakakausap kahit malayo. But para sa amin, sa Lighthouse Cafe Family, ay nagagalak po kami na makibahagi sa inyo. Lalo na ang episode na ito, tamang-tama, Paskong Pasko. Ano po? At uh, wag niyong kalilimutan na tayo ay dumalo sa ating mga pananambahan sa kinabukasan at ilis- eh, talagang isilebra natin. Let's thank God for the, the day when the Lord Jesus Christ came. And so we hope that you are enjoying every bit of uh, time that you have with your respective families. At kami naman dito sa Lighthouse Cafe Family at tinatawag ko lahat yung mga naririyan sa likod ng camera. Join us here because we are all Lighthouse Cafe Family at babatiin po namin kayo lahat ano po, sa panahong ito sapagkat uh, we are actually celebrating the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ because that's all about, yan ang pinaka-core message ng uh, tinatawag na Christmas. It's a celebration of the birth of Christ. And so, kami po lahat ay bumabati. And everyone, binabati po namin kayo a happy celebration of the birth of Christ. Yay!